What's up everybody, welcome to The Rewire. And I wanna introduce a new video series called Viral Spotlight because there's always viral videos about like these epic freakouts in public. Um, it could be employees, it could be random people, whatever it is. And even though these things become viral, like these are things that are happening all the time because our mental health is not what it should be. Just to make it very clear, I am in no way trying to justify what anybody does in these videos, but I wanna help everybody who's watching this understand how these things get to this point and what we can do about it so they happen less frequently. This video, we're gonna talk about what happened with American Airlines, right? Uh, I don't know how many of you have seen it. It's a guy from American Airlines. Apparently, with what I'm about to show you, the story is, is that the woman um, is from out of the country and she has a baby and she was told she could store her stroller in the overhead bin by a different employee. Well, the gentleman that you see freaking out, he was someone who told her that she couldn't. And he ended up yanking the stroller out, almost hitting the baby and supposedly hitting the mom, okay? And that's where this video starts. Hey, bud. You do that to me and I'll knock hey, you flat. Stay out of hey, 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 Come on, hey, 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 how dare he? I cannot believe he did this. How can he do that? They are customers. How can he get in this guy's face? Why is he telling him to hit him? This guy should be fired. It's easy to say that. It's very easy to say that. And here's the thing about it. Like, it's hard for me to think of anybody, anybody I know who has not had a freak out to one degree or another. It's just that we all kind of freak out in our own different ways. First off, I want to make it very clear that there is no way possible that this situation is what set this guy off. Absolutely no way. So this guy, I guarantee he this, this point, this uh, tip of the iceberg that we're seeing, there was a lot more going on. I don't know what was going on, but a lot's going on. Like, he could have uh, had a rough week at work just dealing with customers all week long, right? Um, much like the cops have to deal with, I'm sure after that video went viral, uh, United flight, oh man, I bet, you know, uh, flight attendants have been just under a lot of stress. This guy could be having problems at home. He could just be having stress from work. Maybe the money's not that great. Maybe his boss has been on him. Whatever it is, I guarantee you what we're seeing right here is all this stuff building up. And like I said, I guarantee like almost anybody watching this video has had one of these moments. Now, some of you are looking, looking around and saying, me? I would never do that to a customer, right? Well, here's the thing. We all have this explosion in a different way. Um, mine has taken the form of panic attacks and anxiety where I've had to literally leave work. I used to have a lot of anger issues and with my anger, I just shut down and I say, forget it. And back when I didn't have control over this thing, I would just walk out of jobs. Like when it built up to that point, rather than doing what this gentleman did and blew up on somebody and was like almost trying to fight a customer, like I would just walk out. I was just like, all right, see you later. I don't need this job. But I know people who have told me, they're like, I just can't stop crying at my desk or other people who, um, might take it home with them. Like they're able to keep calm and collected at work, but they go home and they blow up on their wife, their kids, their husband, their mom, their dad, whoever it is. This scenario happens to everybody, but we just happen to catch this one on video and we're all so quick to point the finger at this guy. Like I said, in no way am I justifying what this guy did, but I wanna bring it to your attention that this is something that we all go through and one of the reasons is is that a lot of people do not work on their mental health they don't deal with these things as they come up so it gets to this point where it bubbles up into this explosion so one of the issues that i have is that american airlines put out a statement stating that this flight attendant's actions does not represent the patience or empathy that american airlines stands for and that they teach their employees what 
American Airlines needs to realize is that you can write patience and empathy all over the employee handbook, but they, that doesn't give a person patience and empathy. Patience and empathy, much like concentration, focus, all these things, they're, they're concepts, um, the way we talk about them, but what we need to start realizing is that these are legitimate skills that need to be worked on and they need to be trained in our minds, okay? I, I talk to people about this constantly. I work in a drug and alcohol rehab. Um, a lot of people who are in there, not a lot, but some people who are in there are not happy. They're not happy at all. And they take that frustration out on me. That doesn't mean that I now have the, the right to freak out on somebody. And it also doesn't give me a right to take that home with me and to take it out on my son. My patience and my empathy are something that I work on on a daily basis with my mindfulness practice. You see, the main issue that we're seeing in this video is that this guy does not have that space, that pause button between his trigger and his behavior, between the anger and between shouting at somebody, or between the anger and yanking this, uh, this stroller out from the overhead bin, almost hitting a baby and hitting the lady. He doesn't have that pause button. So if American Airlines really wanted to ensure that this didn't happen again, they would implement some kind of daily, weekly, or monthly even regular training to help the employees be mentally fit. So just so you know, a lot of companies out there are starting to hire people that do this with their employees. They train them to be mentally fit. So. I just want to bring this to your attention. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos like this because these are happening more and more and more. But I want you to start understanding why it's happening. What it was for me, you might have the same experience, is that when I understand why it's happening, then I can begin working on it within myself to try to ensure that I don't react in that same way. And maybe I can respond in a better way. So hopefully you like this video. Feel free to share it and I will see you next time.